Hi everyone! Today I'm here to do a really exciting video. Um, this is part of my back to school series and this is my top 10 back to school nail polish recommendations. So this was a request and I'm really glad that she requested it because this has been a really fun video for me to make. I love nail polish, you guys all know that. And these are just some really fun nail polishes that you guys can wear for back to school. Alright, so here they are. Give you a little close up. Oh yeah. Now, as you can probably tell from my nail wheel, I prefer a little bit more muted, neutral colors for back to school. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some really fun colors here, but they're not too bold or too stand out. They're kind of a muted tone of whatever the color is, and that is one of the things that I love for back to school. I just think that it's really important to keep your nails somewhat neutral. Now, if you are a nail polish fanatic like me, and you want to really go crazy with your nail colors, girl, go for it, okay? But these are some really good options for those of you who just want to follow the trends but don't want to go too crazy. Let me just start off by saying these are not my top 10 fall nail polishes. I will be doing a separate fall nail polish video when it gets a little bit later in the season. So these are just good all-year school polishes. The first color here is really pretty pinky kind of peach nude color. It's really pretty. It has a little bit of gold reflect glitter in it and that's a Zoya polish. This is Pandora by Zoya and it's really pretty and I think it's I think it's going to be the perfect, you know, slightly pink nude for a lot of you girls who don't want anything too bold or anything that's going to stand out too much. So again, that's Pandora from Zoya. And let me just say now, if you're wondering what's on my nails, I'm going to put it in the description box because it's not just one color, it's like three different colors and it's just too much to explain. So it's going to be in the down bar, so if you're wondering what this is, just look down there and it's actually really easy to do. This is the next color here. This is actually a really good kind of camel nude, um, like khaki or cream color, like a bone color, I guess you could call it. Um, this is by e.l.f. and this is called Desert Haze by e.l.f. It's a pretty good polish. e.l.f. polishes you have to buy on their website. I've never seen them at a Target, at least not my Target. But um, they're only a dollar. Now, I do have to say e.l.f. polishes are, they're okay. They're not super opaque. This was about three coats, and, um, you know, they don't wear a super long time, at least for me. Um, I would say I'd probably get about two days with absolutely no chipping, and then four days with, like, minimal chipping. And if you're someone like me, I change my nail polish about every four days anyways, so it really doesn't bother me for me to use these cheaper polishes like e.l.f., but I just wanted to throw that out there that they're not the most amazing quality, but for only a dollar, I can work with it. Okay, this is the next polish, and I do have to say, this is probably one of my all-time favorite polishes. It's, like, purple, it's got a little bit of blue in it, it's gray, it's taupe, it's brown, it's just super unique. This is Sally Hansen's Salon Manicure, and the color here is called Commander in Chic. Hopefully, you guys can see that. There you go. And it's just super pretty. As you guys know, I've talked about this before, I think the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure Polishes are one of the best drugstore polishes I've ever tried. In fact, they're one of the best polishes ever. And I really, really love the brush. If you watched my How to Give Yourself a Manicure video, I talk about this a little bit more, but you can see how it's a little bit more dome-shaped and it's really big, and to me that helps a lot to make my nail polish go on really evenly and really fast. So check these out. This is Commander in Chic. There's the swatch of it again. I really love this, and this is a really trendy color for fall. It also looks great on your toenails. This is the next one. This is a really nice purple color. This is from OPI, and this is called Do You Lilac It, and it's super, super pretty. Um, it's a little bit, it's like a, a mid-tone cream finish purple, and it's just really flattering. It's great on a lot of skin tones, and it's just a nice, you know, it's a color, but it's not too bright, and it's not too pastel, so that's important. You don't want your colors to be too pastel in the fall, but this is a really great option for you. Again, this is by OPI, and this is called Do You Lilac It? Next one is this one here. It's a really pretty shiny purple. It's kind of a mid-tone purple, and it's got a lot of, like, 
gray and blue undertones in it. It's very pretty. And this is a really nice drugstore polish. This is by Wet n Wild and it's the Wild Shine. This one's called Wild Card and I really, really love this color. You can see the gray here a little bit better than you can on my swatch, but it's just super unique and these are only... And this is one of the 99 cent polishes that they have, so I highly recommend that you check that one out if you haven't already. It's really nice. Again, this is a great one for your toes. The next one is this really pretty blue. Again, it's kind of a shimmery finish and it has some gray undertones. This is more of a periwinkle, in my opinion, than a blue, but I think it's super pretty. And this is, again, another Wet n Wild Wild Chide Polish, and this is called Rain Check. And you can kind of see it's just really, really nice. Um, I just love this polish, and if you're one of those people that likes to be a little bit more bold with your nail polish, I like to do every other finger rain check and wild card and just kind of go back and forth. I think they're a really good combo, and it's a good way to do something, you know, a little bit more fun and colorful without being too bold and too crazy. I think they're really, really pretty together. This is the next one, and it's kind of like a denim teal blue. It looks a little more teal on my swatch. But it's definitely more of a blue denim-y color in the bottle. This is another Sally Hansen Salon Manicure. And this one is called Gray by Gray. <laughs> and it's really pretty. Like, again, I said it looks a little darker and more teal on my swatch for some reason. But um, it's looking a little more true to color in the bottle here. So I'm just going to show you that. It's really pretty kind of muted denim blue color. And it's just super pretty. Um, again, you can wear this on your nails, on your toenails, and it's really, really nice. It's a good one if you want to be um, colorful, but you don't want to be too, you know, bold and bright. This is a really good polish. And again, love these Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicures. I love it, love it, love it. This is the next one, and it's one of my new favorites. It's by Essie, actually, and it's called So Psyched. And I'm going to show it to you because it's spelled kind of funny. There you go. This is a really nice kind of army green, and if you watched my um, fall fashion trends video, I said army green is a really big deal, anything military inspired, so I highly recommend you try this polish. It's super, super pretty, and this is really like the best Essie polish I've ever tried. This was only two coats, mostly with Essie I have to do three or four coats. Now, I really like this. It's wear is pretty darn good, and I just think it's really pretty color. I haven't seen anything like this from very many companies. In fact, none of the other companies. And I like that you can find Essie at the drugstore now, so check this one out. Again, it's called So Psyched. This is the next one here, and this is one of my all-time favorite nail polishes. I really, really love this color. It's kind of like a taupey color. It's like a gold and a silver and it's taupe, and it's got a lot of sparkle. Hopefully you guys can see that there. It's really, really shiny, and this is, again, another Wet n' Wild Wild Shine polish. I just really love Wet n' Wild, you guys. Um, their nail polishes are really good for the price. This is 99 cents, and this is called Champagne, and it's super pretty. This one wears really, really well, considering the price, and I only use two coats here. Again, great for the toes because it matches almost everything that you wear. It's good with black, it's good with brown, it's good with gold, it's good with silver. It's really, really pretty color. And again, 99 cents. Love Wet n Wild. Okay, this is the last one, and it's just a cream finish gray. It's really, really pretty, kind of a light gray color. And this is a Sally Hansen Extreme Wear, and this is called Wet Cement. And it's super pretty. I really love this polish. It's a really, really nice one. Again, you can do, if you want to pair it and go a little more bold, you can do every other finger with like this and maybe this if you want something really neutral, the um, e.l.f. Desert Haze color. Or you could also do it with like OPI Do You Lilac It or the Sally Hansen color. So... It's a really versatile color. It's really pretty. Looks nice with a little glitter over it, too, if you wanted to do it like that. And it's just really pretty. It's hard to find the perfect gray, and for me, I think this is one of the perfect grays. And like we talked about in my fashion video, gray is still really big this year, so check this one out from the drugstore. Alright guys, I hope this video wasn't too long for you all. Um, these are my top 10 fall nail polish picks 
for back to school, okay? I'm gonna do another one for my all-time fall favorites, but this is my back to school picks, and I think these are all really, really good polishes. I tried to get a good variety from you guys so that you have some high-end and some drugstore and even some really cheap 99 cent Wet n Wilds. So I hope this has been helpful to all of you. The last thing I wanna mention for all you back to schoolers is when you're in school, you have little time to paint your nails. And I realize that. So my best tip for you guys is watch my how to give yourself a manicure video and get a good top coat. I highly recommend a fast dry top coat. My favorite is Sesh Vite, and this is such a good one. This is the Fast Dry Top Coat, and it's just great because not only does it leave your nails uber shiny, like really, really shiny, you guys, but this stuff dries in like 30 seconds, and you are out the door good to go, and for me, I need that. I paint my nails all the time, and I don't have time to wait for 20 minutes for my nail polish to dry, and especially when you have done like three coats like I was talking about, I have to do with a lot of my Essie polishes, you need a fast dry top coat, so please invest in one. I really like Sesh Feet. You can get it at most CVS's. You can also get it at um, Sally's Beauty Supply, and I want to say I've seen it out at um, Target's even, but it's really nice. I believe it's around $7, which to me is totally worth it. I mean, these things last me for a really long time. This is a brand new bottle. I got my previous one at Christmas, and like I said, I paint my nails about twice a week. So, twice a week since Christmas, and it's now August? Yeah, I think it's a good investment for your $7. So, definitely try Sesh Feet if you haven't, or if you have another really good fast dry top coat that you really like, let me know in the comments, because I'm so willing to try something new. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you try any of these colors, if you have any other winners that you think I should know about, and I will talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!